the last uh, of our uh, lectures we prepared for you for today. And this is uh, Dr. Izabela Plesiewicz-Świerczyńska. Uh, she is a Japanologist, a specialist in the Japanese studies. But uh, two years ago, she completed her PhD thesis. I was uh, her supervisor. And uh, it was uh, in the uh, sphere of history of Japan. So she is also the specialist in history. Uh, now we would like to uh, complete our debate with a kind of a manual. When you already establish your business in Japan, so maybe even in advance, before you establish, it's good to know how uh, to behave, what are the rituals in the in Japanese business setup. Isa, the floor is yours. Um, thank you very much, Professor, and thank you for inviting me uh, here. Uh, so the aim of this uh, presentation is, is to show the corporate um, uh, culture of Japanese film and especially such aspects uh, as, as, for example, um, social rules, first meeting, bowing, uh, chiming in, exchange of business cards, uh, apologizing, um, dress code, and compare them uh, with uh, Western business uh, etiquette. Uh, so business etiquette is a set of general uh, guidelines um, for uh, manners and behavior uh, in a professional uh, setting that allows uh, professionals uh, to feel comfortable um, and safe at work on the, um, uh, in other professional settings. When it comes to business etiquette, uh, there are uh, rules that aren't meant to be broken. So it should be understood as knowledge of customs and all social uh, forms, rules of politeness, uh, as well as the ability of behave um, in life and deal with various uh, complex uh, situations. Uh, some of these may seem like uh, common sense, but we will be surprised how many uh, times we may have made a mistake without even noticing it. Uh, the basis of business etiquette is about building strong uh, relationship uh, in, in the field by fostering better communication. Uh, this can only happen uh, when those who work with uh, feel uh, secure and comfortable. Although basic business etiquette may vary from country to country, uh, some principles stand the test of time and um, geography. Uh, so a well-mannered uh, person is positively received by others and liked. Uh, better interpersonal uh, relationships facilitate cooperation. Manners uh, not only testify uh, about uh, people uh, well, they make life easier, uh, not only in business, but uh, also in society. Uh, there are a number <coughs> of uh, specific rules on how to handle different situations. Uh, a business label in a company is just as necessary as knowledge, uh, intelligence, and negotiating skills. It's necessary, especially during contacts with uh, clients and other people outside the company. Uh, in the business community, this approach leads to improved customer satisfaction uh, services. Uh, the Japanese uh, label uh, seems very uh, interesting uh, here. So the uh, residents of the Japanese uh, archipelago uh, based their social system on uh, aesthetic uh, 
uh, principles of behavior. Uh, it should be emphasized uh, here that the aspects of Japanese culture uh, resulting uh, from, uh, from many years of tradition still affect um, the rules governing the country uh, as well as behavior of the inhabitants of uh, Japan. And uh, here I would like to present some uh, proverbs and thoughts relating to, uh, to business. Uh, first of all, it's Aite no tachiba ni tatte, aite no kokoro o omoyaru. So I'm standing in the other person's position and thinking about the other person's heart. Uh, after that, uh, we have also the frog in the well knows not the uh, great sea. Uh, it's an idiom which means a person who is narrow or close-minded. Um, so staying in a small environment greatly limits our perception and understanding. Uh, this concept could apply to the Japanese uh, corporate custom of rotating people uh, through departments uh, to gain a broader understanding of the company uh, as they moved uh, up the ladder. Um, the next is uh, even monkeys fall uh, from trees. Uh, so nobody is perfect, um, but this can also be a warning uh, not to be too arrogant uh, because even experts make mistakes. Uh, and uh, this, the meaning of this proverb should be taking a uh, view that we have to uh, to continue working and try to uh, to improve ourselves in our work. Uh, so, however good we are in our work, uh, we should never uh, satisfied with our achievement and try to achieve uh, perfection. Uh, and uh, seven times ever eight times up, uh, like uh, the round Daruma dolls that are weighted at the bottom. So no matter how many times you knock them over, uh, you should always pick yourself back up uh, again. So persistence is the key to, to success. Uh, and uh, some uh, some problems or um, or thoughts uh, related to business uh, in Western. Uh, it's um, from Winston Churchill. Uh, success is walking from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Uh, or um, Richard Branson's uh, business has to be evolving. It has to be fun and. Uh, have to exercise your creative instincts. And uh, Thomas Watson Senior, to be successful, you have to have your heart in your business and your business uh, in uh, your heart. Uh, in recent years, more and more companies are offering classes in business culture, have been created, and uh, more and more um, companies are offering such training to their employees. So not only, um, not only knowledge related to management and business has become important, uh, but, also, um, but also everything related to the culture of uh, business. Uh, and the greetings in, in any culture or um, language definitely impact the surroundings positively. Learning these few Japanese greetings will surely make uh, your work um, experience with Japanese more comfortable and more interesting. Uh, after that, we have uh, social rules, that mm, all. And the application of uh, social uh, rules has been an inseparable uh, element of uh, Japanese culture for uh, centuries. Uh, its development was mainly influenced by Confucianism and, and uh, traditional uh, Shinto religion. Um, Confucianism proposed a new theory of governance and about all a vision of a harmonious society 
and the existence of a moral order over the ruler. Um, so an equally important aspect of the development of ideology in the Edo period was uh, Shintoism. It was a spiritual support of the political order uh, and the pillar uh, of the national identity of the Japanese, uh, which began to intensify over time. Each failure uh, to comply with the rules was treated as an offense, and not only uh, against the family, but also with community and in some cases with the state. Uh, citizens should forget about their own aspirations uh, and focus on working for the common good. Uh, this is included in the term meshi hoko, devotion and renunciation. Although the Japanese are understanding for those who show a lack of ignorance of the etiquette, uh, it is uh, worth to learn the rules prevailing in Japanese somewhere to facilitate contacts and with business uh, partners. And um, the organizational character of each company uh, mainly includes the behavior of employees related to uh, performing uh, routine tasks, solving various types of uh, problems and uh, conflicts. Mm, as I said before, the Japanese label inseparable from the traditional Japanese Shinto religion. Uh, Shinto was created as a result of the confusion of beliefs and magical practice of uh, people coming to, uh, to Japan from the continent. Uh, so the code of um, nature has uh, shaped um, and uh, continues to shape the mentality and uh, morality of the people of uh, Japan. Uh, Japan is the only country so highly developed in which such beliefs have uh, survived to the times of computers and uh, robots. Uh, the basic principle of uh, Shinto is faith in the splendor of nature and uh, life. Uh, the Japanese believe that all nature is uh, divine because it was created and inhabited by deities. Hence, the structure of Japanese society is strongly influenced by religious principles uh, that requires the believers uh, to be both reserved and respectful uh, for um, of the extremely rich and complex uh, ceremonial. Uh, in addition uh, to, to the Shinto, Japan was influenced in particular by Korea and China, and many patterns of dress, philosophy, and customs were uh, adopted uh, then. Japan has borrowed a lot of from China, including a complicated a system of ideographic writing, uh, architectural uh, styles, art, technology, medicine, religious, philosophical, and legal system. From the beginning of the existence of the Japanese state, uh, the foundation of uh, for its society was was harmony. Um, and the individual should adapt to the needs of others, even at his own expense. The aim was primarily to protect the harmony, a developed and above all cow face, um, that is the face against the loss of honor. Uh, so um, the most important is altruism, Teamwork and co coordination of work in constantly cultivated in the Japanese society hierarchy uh, rooted in Confucianism hierarchical uh, structures and respect to maintain harmony in society, uh, which maintain the clarity of hierarchical structure and expressions of respect for for others. Uh, and uh, first meeting, uh, Shotai Men no Aisatsu, uh, during the first meeting with the Japanese, uh, it's important to show respect for Japanese culture and uh, tradition. Uh, and 
it's important to be the first person to bow, but it is inappropriate to, to initiate a handshake. Uh, although the host generally uses this gesture uh, during, um, during this type of meeting, uh, it's not as common to him as a bow. Uh, it's important to remember these principles uh, and demonstrate them uh, to the Japanese interlocutor. Uh, in Europe, of course, uh, 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 there is no tradition of bowing, but a welcome handshake is inherent element. A handshake custom uh, used mainly in the West has also been accepted in Japan, uh, although it's not as, uh, as popular as uh, bows. Uh, in Europe, for a great tactlessness uh, is considered strong hand gripping and vigorous shaking. In the West, it's uh, rather a manifestation of a positive attitude. Uh, after that, we have uh, bowing, uh, ochigi. Uh, it's one of the elements we will not meet in the Western business label. Uh, ochigi or bowing is one of the most important Japanese customs, uh, which are used not only in formal uh, relations, uh, but also in everyday. Uh, in dealing with foreigners, the Japanese usually use a handshake, but the bow is a traditional form uh, of uh, greeting. It's used as a form of expressing respect, uh, also thanks, apologies, and acceptance. Um, and so there are many types of bows that are used by the Japanese depending on the situation. Uh, the depth and duration of the bow are depending on the social position and age of person we, uh, we worship. Uh, the higher the status of the person, uh, uh, older is, the deeper and longer um, the bow should be. In doing so, uh, we must pay uh, special attention uh, to maintaining the correct position uh, of the body, uh, the legs should be joined when, while the back uh, is straight. Uh, in the case of ordinary um, greeting with a person with the same uh, rank, uh, we should bow at 50 degree angle, uh, it's a shaku. Uh, however, we can replace the bow with a simple uh, not of the head. Uh, in business situation, um, when we are dealing with a person of higher rank, the most common is bow of 30 degrees, it's KJ, um, and there is, there is also a psi ray uh, of uh, 45 uh, uh, the degree angle. Uh, it's uh, showing a deep respect or apology um, it's long uh, bow. Um, this type of uh, tribute is can also be seen at press conferences during which politicians or representatives uh, of corporations apologize to public opinion for mistakes uh, made. Uh, so this is the type of different uh, bowing. This kind of bowing, also with the girl of Japan. Thank you. 
we have uh, introduction to uh, Shokai. Uh, so no one likes to already stand with a group of uh, people uh, who have no idea who they are um, and to what they are uh, doing there. It's uh, uncomfortable uh, both in Western and in Japanese films. Uh, if you strike up a conversation with someone and are with a person that they haven't met yet, it's polite to make an uh, introduction. Uh, when introducing, it's important to give a little more information uh, about um, just uh, the name of Fru. This gives uh, others uh, some background. And politeness requires that people who meet in a particular company uh, know each other. Uh, the order of the performance here is uh, directly uh, related to the order uh, of naming the name uh, and after that position. Uh, so with one self-introduction, uh, it's important to follow a basic set of rules to introduce uh, others correctly with the context of uh, Japanese culture. Mm, this is particularly true in a business settings. As most of the rules uh, can be boiled down to common sense, there is however no need to access about proper uh, protocol. Uh, after that, we have business cards, uh, Meishi Koukan. Uh, business cards are commonly used both in Western and Japanese films. Uh, they should be exchanged uh, carefully at the very beginning of the meeting. Uh, in Japan, we have additional rules in exchanging uh, business cards uh, facing each person, people exchanging cards, offer uh, them with both hands so that the other person can uh, read them. Uh, cards cannot be thrown uh, on the table or uh, held currently with one hand. The cards should be taken with both hands and examined uh, for a moment and then uh, carefully placed on the table in front of the recipient seat uh, uh, or placed uh, with a smile in the card uh, holder. Uh, if necessary, you can ask how to pronounce someone's name uh, at this uh, moment. So during a meeting with a group of people, uh, the cards can be placed in front uh, of the um, receiver on the table for information um, uh, purposes during a conversation or uh, immediately put in the uh, holder. Cards should never be put in a pocket or wallet, nor uh, should uh, they be saved in the presence of another uh, person. Uh, this note regar uh, regarding the label of a business card is intended to show uh, respect. And when meeting with uh, Japanese uh, societies, a business card is a must-have. And uh, here we have uh, an example of double-sided business cards. And. Uh, here we have an example of European business card and exchanging moment of exchanging in Europe and moment uh, of exchanging business cards in uh, Japan and a short film. According to David uh, Willoughby, a writer for Tokyo Art Beat, a blog about Tokyo's art scene, 
If the Western business card is something meant to future reference, the Japanese meshi is a way of smoothing communication by revealing one's true uh, status. Uh, and uh, there is also, uh, in the recent years, uh, very popular to present also a status of the company. Uh, this is example of uh, Japanese uh, corporate mission uh, status. Uh, after that, we have uh, courtesy titles, Keisha Taitoru, both used in Europe and Japan. Uh, there are different types of uh, styling. Among them, we can distinguish scientific, courtesy, professional, and family. <coughs> uh, titles uh, are an expression of our respect towards some, uh, some people. Uh, titles in Japan society play a huge role. They are used to determine the place in the hierarchy uh, or a given person or group or to classify the profession. Uh, uh, we have some examples of, uh, of this kind of titles like chairman of the board, president, uh, deputy chief executive uh, manager, uh, there are um, examples of um, of titles. Uh, after that, um, uh, it's uh, worth to say that uh, uh, working together connects people, which causes that official titles begin to uh, disturb. Uh, some Western companies. Um, even build the atmosphere of family, family at work, which has an impact on styling. In most corporations, American case is used, uh, meaning uh, practically uh, all company members speak by uh, their first uh, names. Uh, this is um, to facilitate uh, cooperation, strengthen uh, interpersonal relationships, and create a pleasant uh, atmosphere. Uh, in some companies, from official titles, gradually pass to more intimate to finally speak by name. Uh, and uh, honorific uh, words, um, keigo in uh, Japanese, uh, it's something uh, most important in, uh, in uh, Japanese um, etiquette label. Uh, using honorific uh, words uh, facilitates communication. Uh, that is because it let uh, clearly express with grammar and vocabulary uh, communication um, considered for others and respect respect for the social position. Uh, if instead you use it incorrectly, then there is a possibility that uh, the other person will misunderstand that you are not being considerate. Uh, some people also say that because of uh, honorific words, our relationship with people became more distant. Uh, but honorific words are a very convenient tool uh, to uh, that, to let uh, you clearly express uh, consideration and respect towards others. Mm. Apologizing, uh, uh, it's also uh, very important in uh, Japanese etiquette. Uh, because Japanese people apologize habitually. Apologizes show that the person take responsibility uh, and feel regret about his wrongdoing. Uh, an apology is taken more seriously in Japan compared to outside world. The Japanese use the terms and phrases for sorry generously. The phrase gomen nasai is used more casually and is more similar to my bet in uh, English. Uh, there are also uh, words like sumimasen and taihan moshiwaka gozaimasen. Um, and uh, this is used in formal situation to convey deep apologies. Uh, greetings for cooperation, uh, kansha and uh, shaji. Uh, 
いつもお世話になっております。This greeting is used for customers or to people who are not part of、uh, organization. It roughly means something like thank you for your constant support and cooperation or I am grateful, I am obliged. This phrase is often used in business email communication、uh, with customers. Mm, this is a useful greeting to show our gratitude for someone's continuous work or、uh, service for、uh, EU.、Uh, and business memo. Mendan Kaigi Uchi Awase Memo. Usually, taking notes uh, during a、uh, business meeting is wise. Move in Europe、uh, and in Japan. However, it seems more important in uh, Japan. Uh, this, of course, shows uh, that the、uh, participant uh, treats the meeting very seriously.、Uh, however, due to the conservative nature of uh, Japanese, uh, it's best to use conservative inks.、Uh, the ones with blue or black inks are best suited for. Uh, this. However, avoid using the red pen、uh, whenever possible and never use the red pen to write the name of someone.、Uh, something very interesting is about dress code, Doresu、uh, Kodo. Dress code are the rules for caring for clothes,、uh, cleanliness, and hygiene. As largely conservative society, Uh, Japan has different standards to the、um, Western countries in many aspects of, of life, including dress code. As we look around, we may think that Japanese business attire is the same in the Western uh, countries. Uh, comb your hair,、uh, trim your beard, clean your fingernails. And make sure your clothes smell good, and no one wants to sit next to、um, and work alongside、uh, someone who、uh, who smells like body odor and fried food.、Um, Japan is communal culture where it's key to blend in, while a suit in Western countries、uh, can include some variety in color and design. Uh, in Japan, it's important to stick to black or、uh, navy uh, with a natural、uh, skirt and,、uh, and tie. It's also important to be tidy from head to、uh, toe. And、um, something、uh, which started uh, uh, nowadays uh, uh, it's a Cool Biz campaign. Uh, this idea was proposed by the uh, Minister uh, uh, Koike Yuriko、uh, under the cabinet of Prime Minister、uh, Koizumi Junichiro、uh, with the aim of reducing uh, CO2 um, emissions and、uh, electricity use.、Uh, it started on 1st June each year until、uh, 2011. When it was、uh, brought forward、uh, by a month,、um, uh, emissions and electricity use.、Uh, to reduce energy costs, the Cool Biz campaign、uh, calls for workplaces to set、um, their air conditioners to、uh, 28 degrees and urges office workers to ditch the usual ties, jackets, And office were in favor of、uh, casual clothes more suitable for Japan's hot summers.、Uh, the campaign goes、uh, one step farther with super cool bees,、uh, in which polo shirts, aloha shirts, and sneakers、uh, will be promoted as office、uh, wear. So we have an example of. Super Bees campaign and also budget editions. Environment Ministry on May 31st aims to reduce Japan's reliance on electricity. 
struggles to cope with power shortages following the shutdown of nuclear power plants in the wake of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear crisis. But on their way into work on Tuesday, some of Japan's top politicians remained unsure about the campaign's claims to fool. Is the skirt simple? I don't think it really suits me. Government workers will now be allowed to wear polo shirts, Hawaiian shirts, and training shoes to the office. Japan's Kyoto News Agency reported. But unlike previous campaigns, t-shirts, jeans, and sandals are now seen as inappropriate this day. And, um, uh, war movies uh, in the winter. There is also this type of campaign. And act of chimikin, um, something uh, we do not have in Western business uh, etiquette. Uh, in Japanese, aizuchi are frequent uh, inclusions during a conversation uh, that indicate that the listener pays attention or understands the speaker. Uh, in terms of language, there are forms of fatal expressions. Aizuchi is considered calming for the speaker, uh, indicating that the listener is active and involved in the discussion. Aizuchi are often misinterpreted by non-native users because the listener uh, agrees or fully understands uh, what has been said. Uh, common aizuchi includes, um, for example, hi or e, um, which means yes, mm, uh, so des ne, oh yeah, so des ka, uh, really, honto, honto ni, maji, really, and naruhodo. I understand this is uh, true. Uh, and in Japanese conversations, such behaviors are extremely frequent and their placement is often unexpected from the viewpoint of speakers of language like English. Uh, for example, these behaviors often occur in non-transition uh, relevant places. Uh, sometimes aizuchi can even be uttered by the turn holder. And furthermore, um, the turn holder often um, actively elicits aizuchi uh, from the listener. Final particles, which are very frequent in spoken discourse, play an important role in the elicitation. Uh, refusal. Nihon shiki kyozetsu hyogen. Uh, it's important to understand how important it is to maintain a good image in Japanese uh, business. Uh, we can observe uh, this when uh, the Japanese interlocutor is recruited to say no, uh, firmly or when he is forced to react to the invitation. Uh, the Japanese believe that direct refusal may result uh, in a, um, a loss of good uh, image. As a result, uh, they mastered the art of suggestion uh, to perfection. Uh, this form of communication can be um, extremely uh, difficult to interpret by foreigners, which is why it's fundamental to realize the methodology of this uh, behavior. Uh, in general, uh, if the Japanese interlocutor responds to our request by saying, well, uh, I will see it again, uh, or I will think it will over, it means his refusal. After all, you, we must accept to this form of uh, communication. Uh, end of war, uh, after Faibu, uh, phrases which are used in Japanese and we will not meet them in uh, Western um, companies. Osaki ni uh, This uh, phrase is used while greeting someone before leaving office or workplace. Uh, and it means sorry that I'm leaving before you. This expression is used just before leaving the office. Uh, Osaki ni shimasu is usually replied as otsukare sama desu. Uh, you must be tired, um, 
after the hard work today. And Otsukare Samades, this uh, expression, used uh, ritualistically on daily basis in every Japanese workplace. This phrase is used to appreciate uh, your core workers' uh, efforts. Uh, it does not have uh, exact English translation. It means you must be tired after all the hard work today, uh, or thank you for a job well uh, done. Uh, and after work, shigoto no atode. For the Japanese, a common form of um, relaxation after a hard day uh, work is to go out uh, for a drink at the bar, restaurant, uh, or even for uh, karaoke. Uh, if we receive this type of invitation after a business meeting, uh, every effort uh, should be made to be uh, present. Uh, consumption of alcohol is, um, is perceived as an uh, important element of uh, Japanese uh, culture. Um, it's a way for, uh, to relax and to get rid of uh, stress. Uh, uh, meetings outside the workplace uh, may result in uh, uh, broadening the list of business contacts, which in turn may provide prove extremely useful uh, in um, in the future, especially uh, in the professional uh, one. And uh, mutual trust, so uh, goes Western businessmen tend to make a clear distinction between business and pleasure, but this dividing line is very fuzzy uh, uh, one in the Japanese business uh, world. Uh, socializing, for example, can be considered as an integral part of the business relationship, even if not a word of uh, business uh, is spoken. Uh, for such uh, informal uh, socializing contributes to establishing personal trust and such personal trust is far more uh, important uh, in Japan than specific uh, contractual relations are. Uh, while the Western uh, businessman um, builds trust in the negotiation and fulfillment of uh, contractual obligations, the contract is a secondary issue uh, for the Japanese businessman. Uh, the most important thing in a Japanese um, business relationship is whether or not to, uh, the people involved are comfortable and uh, feel they can trust each other. Uh, those non-Japanese who establish uh, ties with Japanese companies uh, soon learn uh, that face-to-face -face contracts are by far the most uh, effective. Uh, Japanese businessmen meeting together repeatedly are not working uh, out the terms of the deal, uh, but are sizing e each other as a human uh, being. Uh, so, uh, ending my presentation, uh, it's important to say that Japanese business organizations are very structured and hierarchical. Uh, Japanese business culture has its unique protocols. Uh, it helps maintain a pleasant and warm touch. Uh, greetings in any culture or the language definitely impact the surroundings uh, positively. And uh, learning a few greetings will surely make uh, experience business experience more uh, comfortable. And thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. I believe uh, this was a very comprehensive lecture, and you don't have questions. <laughs> if uh, you have questions, we can continue because now we'll have dinner.